Hello and welcome to this Made by Megan video. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you are well. hope you're doing good. I have a fun card, quick and easy fun card to share with you today. Um, where is it? Here it is. Okay, featuring the spotlight technique. <clears throat> and so that is where you focus on one part of imagery or gorgeous DSP paper and, and make it the focal point. So by in this card we will be doing that today by popping it up with a bit of a cardstock layer. So let's get started. Um, I've got my bits and pieces here. Got a pupus as um, card bags and I will have a tutorial post over on my blog madebymegan.blog um, with all the dimensions for everything because I know that I will <laughs> Absolutely say the wrong thing on camera. So uh, With that base, I am just going to get my papers as ink and um, The splotchy image we are using. I'm sorry stamps from the waterfront stamp set. I Love this I've made a couple of projects with this now um, And I really love how versatile this set is. It's really really fun to work with and to build up all the layers and it's got some really beautiful fonts uh, sentiments there okay so I'm just going to grab scrap paper wherever I've left that over here just out of reach I'm sorry give me a second right just a bit of scrap and you can see this is scrap I've used before so with the papers as ink there gonna put the dots all the way around the edge just to create a bit of interest on the border that's going to be showing on the card front. So we've had some wonderful news in New Zealand here this week with the country, the government announcing that we'll be moving to level 2, alert level 2, so that's exciting. That'll mean a lot more people can return to work in their workplace, which will be good, I'm sure. And we'll have a lot more ability to move around, which will be nice. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely missing seeing my family who live in a um, different region to us. So now I'm just looking for... I'm just going to line up, I've die cut the square with the stitch shapes um, square. I think it's the third up from smallest. And I'm just going to place it so that there's an even border around the edge there. Okay, and I'm going to be careful not to knock that. And I'm going to start with the water image. I've got Barney Blue. I'm going to line up the sand image with which will be Sahara sand when I'm ready for it. So I'm just going to hold my finger on there so it doesn't move. Pick this up. I actually want to um, stamp that off so I'm going to bring back that scrap piece of paper real quick. Stamp that off. And I'm just going to come nearer the bottom and off I'm going to rock ever so slightly this for these parts that come off the stitched shape because we've got the thickness of the cardstock there. There is going to be a, can you see that? There's this border here and that's naturally going to happen because of the thick layer of cardstock but we will cover that with the layer that we back behind there. You can even tell here that cardstock layer there will cover any border from stamping. Oh. Right, now we just need a strip of sand and I'm going to just hold my finger on that to keep it all in place and lined up the way I want it to be. She says and she moved it. Right. I'm just going to line it up again as best I could and so that it is square. On the page, right. <laughs> Every time I touch it, it moves. 
And again, again, I'm just going to rock it ever so slightly left to right to get some ink on the card base there. Okay, now we'll just grab the, the palm tree trunks and leaves. So I've got um, soft, suede, soft suede, I'm sorry, and pepper's ears. I'm just going to do these off to the side there. Sort of down. down. And the ferns. Corn ferns. To go from there. I love how good photopolymer is for looking through and lining up these images. So easy. Nice and easy. And I've got terracotta tile for the little hut. Looks like a little beach hut. I'll just add two of those in there sitting on the sand I think looks good and last but not least I've got the sand so I've got so saffron for the oh, sand <laughs> sun I don't know what it is about filming but I turn on the camera suddenly I forget how to speak it's just a bit funny right there we go Okay, and the last bit of stamping we want to do is actually pop that aside. I've got a strip of, um, you can see this is just a scrap strip of Pepper Zazz. And I've got my Memento Black with the sentiment. I actually got the Happy Birthday sentiment from the Timeless Tulips uh, stamp set. Okay, and I want to do that nearer the bottoms. And I'm going to trim that tight to the words. And we're ready for it. Okay, so for now, I'm going to take that layer off. We can adhere this layer straight to the card front. So I like using my Tombow, my multi-purpose liquid glue for that. You might like to use tear and tape or something similar. So I'm just going to adhere that, making sure the border is even on all sides. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to pop that aside. And I've got this strip of um, crumb cake that will adhere this uh, die cut square to. So I'm just going to tip that right into the corner there. And again, I will have um, dimensions for all of these layers on my blog post, so go and check that out. I'll make sure the link is in the description of this video. Okay, and I'm just going to, I'm just actually just going to trim this so that it's got an even border all the way around. Take that excess off so I can hold it. But I will, I will tell you the dimensions of these layers so you don't have to do any cutting by hand there. You can have them all ready to go. Um, and to adhere that we will use the uh, Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And I've just got a pack of the minis here which are... Perfect. I find I use them quite often. I still like having the regular size dimensionals because there's um, sometimes you just need that extra support. You know, the bigger size for the extra support. But for the most part, I use the minis now. Now that they've been released, now that they're a nice uh, thing. Okay, and I'm just going to line this up. With the lines I made, the stamps I made as best I can. There you go. So you can see there's actually a bit of a border there from that stamping you can see. But I think given the water nature, watercolour nature of the stamps, it, you can't tell at all. Okay, last thing to do, this has been a quick and easy card, is I want to cut straight up at the end of the words there and across nice and tight to the sentiment across the top and just an angle cut something like that and this guy is going to be adhered with a dimensional on the end but then liquid glue so a dimensional right down the end there and liquid glue up this end 
because that liquid glue end is going to attach to this stitched square. So just going to do something like that. Okay, I'll just make sure that's attached before I go gluing it around. So how good is that? That is a really quick and easy card showcasing the um, spotlight technique. I hope you've enjoyed watching today and that I hope you give it a go. go do go over and check out my blog for all of the instructions and dimensions. Uh, that's made by megan.blog. Don't forget at the moment we've got uh, the Last Ch Chance products going on with Stampin' Up! So those are products from the mini catalogue and the uh, annual catalogue that will be retiring. And they're available until the 2nd of June or while stocks last. So do go over and check those out. And um, at stampinup.co.nz or if you'd like to place an order through me, I'd be really grateful for that. And you can get in touch with me uh, at megantearmade at gmail.com. And I'll have the links below for those things. So also I've got my two class to go kits available at the moment. All the details are on my blog. So go on over and check those out. So today we've used the Waterfront st stamp set. I do love this one. And we've done the spotlight technique. Quick and easy card. Alright guys, thanks for joining me today. Have a good afternoon. Bye.